I think he's not pointing down enough. Not sure how to prop this thing up here. Good afternoon, y'all. So how about grabbing yourself a nice, sweet, icy um, mug of Coke? By the way, if you're wondering what my mug says, it says, Okay, your life sucks. We get the idea. If you want to get a mug just like this, I'm selling them on my Cafe Press store. It's like $16 after shipping, but... But I just ordered mine like three days ago when it got here today. So I was like, I was pretty surprised it was so fast. Because they said on the website it would take five days or something like that. It's pretty much just a regular all day. It's my day off, my one day off this week. I had to work six days this week and last week. So that's kind of sucking, but... <clears throat> I did put in for personal day next week, but I think I waited too long to do it, so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get it, but I guess we'll see. Um, in other news, there's really not a lot going on. Uh -huh. I just finished my next Final Fantasy VI thing for Nintendo Capri Sun, so I can... <coughs> so I was thinking, well, I'm going to go ahead and upload that, but I thought, well, maybe I'll just make a vlog so I can upload that at the same time, so I can have something on here resembling a vlog. It's gotten to where these days I'm paying all my bills online. You know, my electric bill, my cable, everything, and I just pay it online now. And it's like, it took me forever to finally get comfortable with that, because I'm not really comfortable with paying stuff online. I just don't trust the numbers to go through. It's like, I don't like the thought that computers are the deciding factor on whether or not something gets paid. I mean, at least if it's a physical check in the mail, you got some kind of proof that you did it. Like, you got your own copy of the check if you make one. Of course, I don't really do that either, so I don't know if I mail it. The thing is, if you mail off a check and it doesn't get to them, well, then it just doesn't get cashed, so the money doesn't come out of your account. But when it does come out, like on a computer, I don't know, it's just something about it that makes me feel uncomfortable. But but it's been working, so I'm, I'm still doing it. I mean, it's, if it saves me money on stamps and a trip out of the mailbox. Somebody online today was saying that it was snowing this morning in Pennsylvania. Uh, can anybody confirm that? Uh, snow in the middle of May in Pennsylvania? That's crazy. I went and looked it up on weather, and it said it was like 48 degrees, so I don't know if he was just... It said it was showers, but maybe it was just like drizzly, and it was flying sideways, and it looked like snow or something. But he said it was snowing over there. I'm like, dude, it does not snow in May, unless you're in, uh, like, Alaska or something, maybe. Mm. That is some good shit, let me tell you. Oh, man, what is he doing over there? Dude, let me hear this. Well, there, earlier he was shaking his fist at the screen. Like, I wanted to see what he was saying, because I'm copying my tape to DVD over here. I wanted to see what I was saying on the TV, but... But I guess he stopped talking about it, because now he's talking about something else. You know, I don't even remember what day it was that I started that diet, if you can even call it that. But ever since then, I guess it's been almost a month now, I haven't had any candy bars of any kind, no Little Debbies, nothing like that. The only sweet thing I've had is granola bars, and at one time I had a cookie... Well, you know what? Actually, I've had some sweet, sweet stuff at work. Occasionally, I take a donut hole and I dip it in the chocolate frosting and I eat that. But it's never more than two a day, and most of the time I only have one. Actually, I think one day I had three. I don't know. I'm not keeping track of it, but I think a donut hole is not really... <laughs> that's like nothing. I mean, I suppose if you eat one every day, it adds up, though. But there are some days I don't have it at all. I remember I changed my oil last week and they had cookies sitting out because they always have cookies there and I had one of those cookies while I was there. But aside from the donut holes, that's the only even remotely sweet thing I've had at all in the last month. And I remember when I ate it, when I ate that cookie, it was good. Holy cow was it good. Man, I had never had a better cookie in my life. So I know it probably because I haven't been eating the sweets, so it seemed to taste better because I haven't had any sweets in so long. My nose is itching. I got these invisible boogers. Um, <laughs> so what was I saying? Yeah, so I haven't, so I pretty much haven't had any sweets. I've, I've been, um, I need to get back to walking. I need to go ahead and take my walk today, but I'm thinking I might do it tonight after American Idol or something. I might want to take a little nap before that comes on. So, uh, because I know the finale is tonight. I haven't really talked about American Idol at all this year. Because I know I did reviews last year, and I was going to do them this year, but I'm just not really that good at it. I guess I really haven't been too interested in this season. I'm surprised. I don't know if it's because... Because, I mean, last year, you would think that last year would be the year that I wouldn't be interested in, but I guess since last year was my first year watching, it seems to be more interesting. But this year, it's been kind of... It's just been too predictable. They haven't been out... You know, they've barely been allowed to sing current music at all. And 
pretty much from the very first week, like the, from the top 24, you pretty much knew that David Archuleta was going to end up in the top two. And there's been nothing. You know, he hasn't been in the bottom three even once. And now in the finale, he's going up against David Cook. And ever since David Cook sang hello, I knew that he was going to be at least in the top three. So, and now he's in the top two. I didn't imagine Saisha would get as far as she did, but she was kind of... She, she held back until later in the show, and then she did a lot better later, kind of like Jordan did last year. But I think, you know, if it, if it hadn't been for Jordan winning last year, I think Saisha would have had a better chance this year because it's not the same thing that happened last year, you know, a floater suddenly coming in and getting really good at the end or something. I mean, Jordan actually got good a little bit sooner than Saisha did, sooner in the season, but... But then I don't know. You know, it's easy not to notice a person when there's so much competition, and then you start to notice them when there's fewer people to watch. So maybe that's all it is, and it's not that they're floaters really so much as it is just that they start to shine more. But, um, yeah, but she did good. Jason Castro should never have made it as far as he did. But, but you know, he was charming and all, but, you know, it was like the same thing every week with him. You know, he always... I don't know, I just didn't get the feeling. You know you know what really, what I really miss about? If you go back and watch, like, Bo Bice singing, uh... You know, back before I watched American Idol, I was at a friend's house one day, and they were watching it from the previous night. They had recorded it. And I saw Bo Bice performing some oldie. I think it was that one where he's like, Thank God in heaven, you know I... Da -da 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 or something like that. And, like, in the performance, I can still see it in my head. He was, like, running all over the stage and bending over, like, 45 degrees to the ground with the microphone and was getting all up in the audience. And this season, it's like every single performance, they just stood right there in the middle of the stage with the microphone and just sung. You know, like, there's no, there hasn't been any excitement at all. They haven't been, like, running around the stage as they sing because they're all singing all these ballads and these contemporary songs, which... You know, and if you run around the stage, it kind of clashes with that kind of style of music and all, so. So there's been a lot less of that, I mean, because, like, like if you watch any of Daughtry's performances, he's always running around the stage, you know, and working the audience, but these, you know, this year, it's just been stand in the middle and sing a song, and blah, blah, blah. So it's been really kind of a boring season overall, I think. But. You know, David Cook got to do a little bit of that last night. Um, but, you know, and I, I really thought that, dude, what's going on here? <laughs> oh my god, I think he's gonna fart. Hang on a second. Dude, I'm rewind, like, when I, when I copied this to the... Wait a second, let me see. Apply, click, little minutes, you know. Counting those apply, click, little minutes. I'm telling you. This is exclusive footage right here. I'm telling you. Boy, I need to so much for that wiping now. It's not gonna do me any good. <laughs> 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 oh my god, man! Uh, that's like what I say. Oh my god! Oh man! Yeah, but it's got it's gotten down to the end, and now it's like David Cook and David Archuleta. And I really thought David Cook was probably gonna end up being the one to win it. Because when you look at music these days, you know, when you look at the male pop stars these days, like Justin Timberlake and Sean Kingston, and, and just any male who's had a hit, you know, in the, in the last year, they're all, like, you know, they're not young. And most of them are, like, in their 20s or, I mean, I don't know how old Sean Kingston is, but I get the feeling that the males these days are mostly, in music, they're mostly, like, in their 20s. You don't see a lot of young males, but you see a lot of young girls like Rihanna and you know, Miley Cyrus, I mean, you know, if you're going to be 17 and successful in music, you have to be a girl these days. And so because of that, I don't really think David Archuleta has much of a chance as far as being successful in music, but after the performances last night, David Archuleta was clearly the better performer of the two, or the better singer, I don't know about better performer, because he's one of, like, David Archuleta is a prime example of one of those that just stands in the middle of the stage and sings, you know, that doesn't want to that doesn't really, you know, I mean, I don't know. It's, I don't know how to say that. It's like, you don't want to attack them personally, but it's almost like they're a tight ass. You know, like, like they don't want to get, it's kind of like Brooke White was, you know, like they don't want to just get out there and go crazy, you know, and when they do try to do that, as in Here Comes the Sun, they end up looking like total idiots. But last night, I think David Archuleta pretty much blew it out of the water. 
and he's going to end up being the winner this year. So, yep. So I guess that's all for today. All right. Talk to you guys later. Peace out, bro. Peace out, sis. Peace out, mother. Peace out, father. Peace out, mothers. <laughs>